Well, welcome back to New Day Northwest. This brand new cookbook is out today, highlighting the cuisine of Northern India. On the Himalayan Trail is written by Romy Gill, and she shared a delicious recipe that mixes paneer cheese with a delicious gravy. What are we making today? I'm making paneer. It's like Indian cheese, which doesn't melt when cooking. Really delicious. So I've just got a pan quite hot, and I'm going to add some rapeseed oil. And in, in Kashmir, they would use mustard oil. Mustard oil is very pungent, kind of, you know, strong mustard seeds, as you know. So I've just added oil here in a pan. When the oil pan is hot, the oil expands. So it's a trick to do that. And then this is the paneer. I've diced it. Mm -hmm. So it's in between halloumi uh, and uh, it's between halloumi is very salty. Paneer is not salty. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. not as salty, but it's not bland either. No, it, it, paneer is very bland, but when it's cooked in the spices, mm -hmm. when it's cooked with other things, it passes on that lovely, um, you know, like tofu is bland. When tofu cooks with soya sauce and when you cook with other things, it gives you that deliciousness. We're just going to light brown it. See, All right, really well, as you are. Um, browning that what is the inspiration behind your new cookbook so i i as you know i'm a chef but i also like to travel different parts of india especially um you know india because india is a big country you might live in one part and you might not go to another so i've always traveled um you know and and wrote i also have written about with the himalayan trail in the new york times i've written in different magazines so it's, it's inspiration, you know, when I was a little girl, I used to watch this Bollywood film. I don't know if you know Bollywood films. Oh, you yes. Know, running, ar running around in the snow. And I used to live in a different part of India where there is no snow. So yes. I was very fascinated. And also my husband used to travel on a scooter to all these Himalayas. And he used to tell me all these lovely stories. I, and I really wanted to go and, um, you know, learn from these people. And they're just amazing, amazing people. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm just light browning it like that. Yes. Just going to take that out. Because the pan is already hot, you really don't need to use another pan. And the oil is already in there. So okay. we're not using any extra oil. So I'm going to add all the whole spices, which are black cardamom seeds. The, and they're more licorice -y. They're really black. Okay. You must have seen the, the green ones, which are like these. The green ones are like that. So there are different. So the black ones give you a really licorice smell and they mm. use lot, give you the warmth and the flavor. And the green ones are more sweeter in the dishes. So I'll add that whole spices, some bay leaves in there. And then some turmeric, which is the golden spice. Some fennel, brown fennel. And asphatida. So asphatida is it's like, a, it gives you a garlic taste to it. Uh, okay, to it. I was going to ask. Yeah, and then ground ginger. So these and salt as well. So, so in Kashmiri cuisine, there is like the Kashmiri Pandit, which are the Hindus, and there goes the Kashmiri Muslim. So there are two different kinds of cuisines within the Kashmiri. So you can see that smell coming out. It's really, really good. What you're going to do is add the water. It's about 300 ml of water. Okay. And then we're going to add the paneer back into that look at that yellow deliciousness uh that looks it's it looks amazing now how would you serve this is this kind of an appetizer or is this before is this with dinner how would you serve this um uh, it's that main dish so i'm adding some of the milk to it to give that creamy texture you eat this with rice in the end one this is cooked you let it bubble you let it bubble quite a lot and let the juices sim go in the paneer and then you're going to add this uh, fenugreek leaves, which are dried fenugreek leaves. If you don't have that, you can add mint as well. But these oh. this have a really strong, overpowering smell. But it, ma it works magic with the cream. I don't know how to explain it. It's just match made in heaven. The cream and the, or the milk, the texture of the fenugreek is such so delicious. It's cooking magic. It is. It's look at a yellow. It's a yellow ball of deliciousness. That's what I I, 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 I would call it. Is that the official uh, name on the recipe? Because I'm here for that. I think that's a, a genius name. <laughs> yeah, I, I. It's in the book. It's called Chaman Kalia. It's on page page fifty two. I think it's just simple yet delicious. You don't miss the meat at all. 
I, you know what? I can imagine I wouldn't. It looks like pure comfort food and deliciousness. I hope when I come to, to your place and you're going to cook this for me. Will you That's cook awesome. this for us? Yes, I will. You can All right, well, it. I can't wait. Get on the plane, come visit. I'll cook it for her too. And by the way, you can cook it because Romy shared the recipe with us and you can find it on our website right now.